Welcome to App of the Day, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Today's app is Steam. Wait a minute. Steam Beta. Steam mobile app? Steam. For both Android and iOS? Be it's out. You it's can get it today. It's actually just for iPhone. Uh, this is an iPhone app blown up from the iPad. Yeah. Um, it's useful and convenient, but doesn't really add too much to the Steam experience. So, like, I was, I was hoping that when you'd go to the catalog and... Okay, so let's first off, let's run through what this does. Yes. This is the thing that I wanted for Xbox Live for a long time. Persistent friends list. I can mm -hmm. send Josh and say, hey, it's good to see uh, okay. you're working hard. <laughs> um, I don't, do you ever use Steam Chat? I, I barely use, like, AIM Chat and, and G Chat, G Talk. I don't need to add Steam. I, I don't never use Facebook Chat. Yeah, I don't use Facebook chat. The only time I use this is I do have a fairly large number of friends who may or may not be real world friends. Uh. So uh, the place that Steam chat is useful is when you are uh, was when your graph for that your social graph for that service. Don't say those two words. You don't think that's a good thing to say? No. Okay, so it's when your your friends on the service may or may not have your phone number. Okay. So like if I was only playing games with people who have my cell phone number can text me, that's or, one thing. Or if someone's in game. Yeah. Right. Like, for example, can always I can tab. Say, right. Well, even even my little brother Brad's playing StarCraft. Right. StarCraft isn't Steam game, but they've added it, so you get the overlay, and so they get the messages. Right. In game. That's exactly um, it. To see if I want to join them. Um. So you can see groups. Yeah. Friends. Look, here's the test your group. Hey, I'm not going to do an announcement right now. Um. You can buy stuff, of course. Mm, unsurprisingly. Of course. You think? Um. Oh, Lego Apple Harry takes uh thirty percent. I wondered actually. Because they're selling this at the same price. I mean, and Steam has to take a cut. So. I got. I, I've got to assume. Can you actually? You can buy directly from here, and it just goes into yeah, your account. I could buy Limbo. I could send you a copy of Limbo right now. I already own Limbo, so I probably can't buy Limbo oh. actually. But let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, it's nine ninety nine, and it doesn't let me purchase uh, for right. myself. Okay. Um. So you can uh, manage your friends list, you have friends requests, you can do yeah, chats, like this guy. you can buy games. I'm going to make you my friend. Congratulations. Just for being here today. Of course, wow. he's the offline one. Um, yeah, so it's more, it's more that I, it's a good way for me to send notes to people and say, hey, uh, do you want to play a game or whatever. Oops, I should have gone to so the chat. So uh, it's fairly limited, that, right? In it's that super sense. limited, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I, the rest of it, I kind of, like, I don't... The friends list is good. Mm -hmm. Let's just be clear. Yes. I'm excited about having access to the friends list. Yes. It sends push notifications when you get a message. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit spammy because it also sends push notifications every time you have a conversation back and forth. Right. And also and all group events, right? Uh, group events, I don't know. I had a bunch of group events this weekend and they didn't pop up. So okay, maybe it's an option. Uh, I, I may have that turned off. Oh, here's settings down here at the bottom. Scroll down. I can't, I can't get to settings. Get it. Scroll and quickly tap. Oh. No, wow. I don't know okay. why this doesn't work. It worked, it's a beta it worked app. before. It's a yeah. beta app. Um, you can see the news. You can see patch notes and stuff like that. Yeah, press releases. Product releases. Steam blog. Here we go. Can you browse the Steam forums? Uh, I don't think that they expose the Steam forums to the oh, community. Oh, come on. I don't know. I think it's probably a good thing. Steam forums are great. Are they? It's how I know that you know other people are having problems launching certain games. But if you go to any Steam forum on any game, they all it's all the people who have problems. So it's a completely valueless. Sure. Uh, Unless you can search. Uh, you can see friend activity. I have that blocked on mine. It, it uses yeah. your profile, your web page settings, so you're not going to see it. Uh, I think I have a game on my wish list. SimCity 4 Deluxe. Congratulations, me. I already own that don't, game. Don't buy it for Will. No, no, don't, don't, no, no. Please no, do don't, not. No, I, I have copies of SimCity 4. Yeah, I just put it on here for the for purposes the purpose, of yes, this. Demonstrating. Um, and you can search to see what else is on. Like, for example, I was interested to see if Battlefield 3 was on Steam. Oh, I wonder. How about Battlefield Bad Company 2? Oh, Bad Company 2 is, but 3, not, not so, so much. Not so much. Yeah, so um, so yeah, this is this is uh, Steam. It's you can't buy games to play on the iPad yeah. is or it iPhone. It's still in beta. Uh, I mean, it's invite only still. Or it is still it invite up? only, okay. but it's like the the when you sign up, you get like three or four keys or something like that that you can yeah. give out to other people. that's in your beta list. Yeah, so. they will open this up to everyone real soon. I bet. Yeah, it's unsurprising, but they want to make it possible for people to spend money on their service yeah. from all kinds I think of it was platforms. A missed opportunity for them to. Oh, oh. hey, we got a message it's from the Josh. Exact same. Uh, it's the exact same sound. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and the nice um, thing is, it'll keep sending me push notifications yeah. whenever Josh sends me. He's a typing something before. right now. Uh, 
you think it was a missed opportunity for them not to release this right before the holiday season so people could buy, uh, take advantage of Steam sales? Yeah, that's a good point. I, the other, there's two things I'd love to see. I'd love to see notifications on, on Steam sales, which I know sounds mm -hmm. super crass, but Steam sales, like, not, not, hey, this game is 33% off, but, hey, we're, we're doing something crazy here. You should come we're check it out. We're doing a sale. You should browse the games yeah. list. Get an update on what's new now available. Uh, the other thing is the ability to use this as a remote control, where you buy something here, and then it just starts downloading on yeah. your PC, which you left on at home. I want that. That would be fantastic. That doesn't work. I, I, <sighs> I got to assume that that's coming, because the, like, the number one comment on this was, hey, I would like to be able to buy stuff and have it download while I'm on my way home on the bus or yes. from work or whatever. So, Absolutely. Um, there you go. It's app of the day. It's Steam. Uh, Josh is still typing. Are we going to find out what he says before the end? I don't know, Norm. What do you think? I don't think so. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.